Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at the MJX Bugs 4W. This brushless folding GPS quadcopter has a remote tilting 2K camera that streams in 5G. It has optical flow and ultrasonic sensors underneath the quadcopter for added stability. It also has plenty of automated features such as waypoints, follow me, orbit, return to home, auto takeoff, auto land, and plenty of others. So let's check it out. Now in this special set, the drone comes in a very nice travel bag. I'm sure there are boxed versions with this drone, but this travel bag is very nice. It has plenty of pockets and compartments, and it's a very good quality. And it has a handle there at the top, and here in the front it has a zippable pocket where you could put some of the extra accessories if necessary. And there's plenty of room in this uh, travel case, so very nice. And here it even comes with a strap that you can clip on on the sides here. And so you can put it over your shoulders and carry it very easily. So definitely a very nice bag that this drone comes in. And so now let's open it up and take a look inside, see how everything's packed in there. We'll unzip it here on the sides here. And so let's open it up. Right away there's an inner pocket that's uh, housing some of the uh, extra accessories, such as the uh, spare propellers. And everything's well packed in there. You can see the drone and transmitter all held together with a uh, strap there in the center. So we'll unclip it and take a look here. Let's start out with the drone. It's all packed into the uh, styrofoam there in the center. And very nice. You can see the camera right there in the center. And it has this brick shape to it. And down below you could see the sensors and the LED lights. And a very nice compact shape here. And it is foldable. Uh, you could fold it out in a certain pattern. And you can see how everything just folds into place there. Very nice. Good quality, good construction. Right there you can see the Bugs logo. And so a very sleek drone. So we'll set that aside right over here. And now let's take a look here at the transmitter, which is in this compartment over here. We'll just slide it out. And a very compact, cool-looking controller that highly resembles a DJI transmitter. It has an LCD display in the center. And it has the fold-out antennas, which are most likely for looks. And it has these folding grips. So very comfortable, very nice, compact DJI-like transmitter. It has a mobile device mount here at the top. So very cool. Takes a couple of batteries. And now let's take a look here at the charger, which is very interesting. It has this two battery charger. And this special set also includes two batteries, which is very cool. So you would put both batteries into this case and you would plug in the USB-C cable that it comes with. And there's an, an extra port for an additional USB-C cable to charge both batteries simultaneously. So pretty cool. And last but not least, we have the additional parts here. We have the four spare folding propellers along with a screwdriver. And we have a quick start manual, the instruction manuals, and a set of bugs stickers. So pretty cool. Very nice set here. And everything is uh, all laid out very nice and neat. So let's organize all this and take one last look at the contents of the package. Now taking a final look at the contents of this set, we have the drone itself. And it comes with two 7.6 volt 3400 milliamp LiPo batteries. It has four folding spare propellers, a screwdriver, the charger for both batteries, a USB-C cable for that charger, the transmitter, the instruction manuals, the quick start guide, and a set of bugs stickers. So that's the contents of this set. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is a very sleek looking drone that highly resembles an SJRC F11 quadcopter. And it's along the lines of a DJI Mavic, 
as a foldable brushless drone and it has the Bugs logo there at the top and here in the front you could see it's 90 degree remote tilting wide angle lens 2K camera that streams in 5G Wi-Fi and it takes an SD card right here on the side there's an SD card slot so it stores onboard footage so that's very good and looking here at the bottom we have several sensors we have the ultrasonic sensors right here at the top we have a optical flow camera sensor here and then we have these two LEDs that are very bright that you can activate through the remote as a searchlight of some sort and then we have these uh, landing legs that uh, stick out right here on the sides and at the bottom so very good and it has its on off button here at the top and so you would simply keep that pressed to either activate the drone or shut it down and this is a brushless motor quadcopter with 2204 1350 kV motor so very powerful and it doesn't come with any propeller guards but it is foldable as you can see here you would start with the front legs and make sure the propellers align and so once you fold it it's all compact and has a brick like shape as you can see here but very sleek and it's very easy to store or travel with and throughout the drone you will find these quick start stickers that you can easily remove and they provide some guidance on uh, unfolding the drone and inserting the SD card etc and so here we'll just simply unfold the drone and you can see how it looks when it's all folded out very sleek and uh, good build quality and it is fairly large and uh, somewhat heavy so it most likely will require FAA registration here in the back we have its battery compartment so let's take a quick look here at the battery this is a uh, 7.6 volt 3400 milliamp lipo battery and it provides the quadcopter with around a 20 minute flight time so pretty good and it charges through this interesting uh, charger right here you can charge up to two batteries and you can charge them simultaneously if you have an additional USB-C cable but with the included cable you can charge both batteries uh, they just charge one after the other not simultaneously and they have a display right here on the front of the case that shows you the percentage of charge for each battery while it's charging so that's pretty neat and so here on the side we have two ports for the USB-C cables uh, but it only includes one so you have the option there to either charge both simultaneously or one at a time and so we'll briefly demonstrate here We'll just plug in one USB-C port here. And as you can see, uh, one of the batteries there is charging and the other one is paused, waiting for the first one to fully charge. And so once the first one fully charges, the second one will charge. And it knows which one to charge uh, depending on which one is connected. So really, you don't have to plug the USB-C cable in any particular port it has an idea of where to charge the correct battery so that's pretty cool and so it takes a lot of the guesswork out of uh, charging the correct battery so now let's insert the battery back into the drone here right here in its slot and make sure to remove the uh, styrofoam stopper uh, prior to uh, inserting the battery because it does come with a stopper and so turning on the drone here you can see the LED lights throughout the drone and so pretty good for orientation especially these two bright LEDs here at the bottom now the lights on each corner could have probably been a little more visible and brighter but they get the job done and are sufficiently bright even in darker conditions so we'll press this button right here to uh, turn off the drone and so overall a very sturdy well-built quadcopter and it's definitely a smooth flyer so now let's take a closer look at the transmitter now taking a closer look at the transmitter this is a very comfortable compact DJI like transmitter and here at the top there are a couple of fold-out antennas that are just for looks 
they don't appear to be valid and also down below there are a couple of fold out arms that are for making the controller more comfortable to grip so you simply fold them out and you can improve your grip and really helps maintain a solid grip on the controller and here at the top we have a fold out mobile device mount where you would simply place your cell phone and there's uh, enough room for a very large cell phone but not quite a tablet and now also looking at the rear of the device we have a compartment here for two AA batteries so it takes two AA batteries held in place with this lid and now taking a look at the front of the transmitter let's briefly go over the controls a bit uh, right here we have our lock button that'll start the motors in idle and a long press will perform an emergency stop in midair here is our on off switch and then here on the upper right corner we have our return to home button and then we have our left throttle stick followed by our right rudder stick and then we have our camera button where a short press will take a picture and a long press will start recording a video then we have this light button or rates of speed button so there are two rates of speed there's low and if you keep the button pressed it'll toggle between low and high there's only two and a quick tap will simply turn on the LEDs underneath the drone or turn them off and then we have uh, the auto takeoff and auto land button right here then we have a wheel on this side that's not used for anything and this wheel right here will tilt the camera on the drone up or down 90 degrees and then we also have an LCD display here that has a lot of telemetry um, such as the distance and the height and also it shows if the GPS is on or off which there's also a switch here on the side that you can turn on or off the GPS as you can see here and it'll fly in altitude hold mode using the optical flow and the uh, ultrasonic sensors then we have the number of satellites right there and then we have um, our signal strength shown by these bars here on the side and then we have um, the battery levels of both the drone and the transmitter shown there by those two icons and then you could see the um, rates of speed and the mode at which the controller is in now this controller does offer the drone over a kilometers worth of transmission distance so that's pretty good and uh, now let's go over setting this up for a first time flight and the app. Now setting up for a first time flight is very straightforward. Once you've inserted a fully charged battery into the drone along with an SD card and have inserted a fresh set of batteries into the transmitter along with a mobile device, you would then proceed to activate the drone by keeping its on off button pressed here at the top until you hear the second set of chimes. At that point, you keep the lock button pressed and turn on the transmitter and it should automatically bind. And once it's bound, you should notice the lights on the drone rapidly blink along with an icon on the controller's LCD display. That indicates you need to perform a GPS compass calibration. This will happen every time you activate the drone. And to do this, you simply rotate the drone three times on its flat horizontal axis until the lights change colors. It should turn green. So you'll notice they changed. Now you face the camera upwards and you rotate the drone another three or four spins until the lights change colors once again. And once that's done, you should notice the front lights turn red and the rear lights turn yellow waiting for GPS connectivity to turn green but in this case they're already green because the GPS system on this drone is GLONASS and it captures satellites even indoors so it captures them very rapidly so they're already green and once it's green it's pretty much ready for takeoff you should have enough satellites for home lock but at this point you may want to perform a gyro calibration and to do this make sure the drone is at a flat ground level surface and not moving and you want to move both sticks down and to the left 
and you should see the lights rapidly blink for a few seconds. And now the drone should be level and ready for takeoff. But first you want to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi using the mobile device and app. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you want to look for an entry that says uh, bugs underscore and a serial number, and you want to connect to that. And initially, there is no Wi-Fi password or anything like that. You would just go ahead and connect to it. And once connected, you would go ahead and launch this app right here, the Bugs Go app with the red icon right there, and it's in both the iOS and Android app stores. So once you download that, you want to go ahead and launch it and you'll be greeted with this screen right here and you will see a selection of all the MJX Bugs quadcopters, but you want to look for the one that's the Bugs 4W. And so you scroll towards the end of the list and you should see it there. And then once you've found it, you would go ahead and launch it by pushing this red button here and you should see this screen right here. It has a lot of helpful information on what the different icons mean within the app. And right away, you should notice we have a live feed with the drone, a live 5G Wi-Fi feed here. And it's very clear and there's very little latency. So a very nice uh, live video feed with the drone. And of course, we can adjust the tilt of the camera to see from the perspective of the drone. So a very good FPV feed that uh, has a good range of maybe around five to 800 meters. So pretty good. And now going over the app a little bit, uh, there's a lot of uh, icons here at the top. The first one here is for the photo gallery where you could see stored photos and videos either on the SD card or within the app. This icon right here will split the screen to uh, put this in VR or FPV goggles. This one will flip the image if necessary. And then this one will remove all the icons and imagery around the video feed. So you have a clear full view. You have the number of satellites connected to there. Here you have your settings page where you would have uh, different parameters on this page for the waypoints. Then on this page, you have all the calibrations that you can perform. Here's the flight data or log. And here's the resolution page where you can change the saved resolution. And then here we have some distance and height telemetry, along with the uh, battery percentage on both the quadcopter and the transmitter. You also have signal strength, and the arrow will send you back to the main screen. Here we have our return to home button, our orbit button, and then right here we have the follow me, and you can change perspectives on either the FPV view or the map view. And on the upper right corner, you can switch between satellite view or map view, so you can see the different details. And then right here we have our waypoints uh, function. So once you enable that, you can draw waypoints and submit them on the map and the aircraft will fly those waypoints. And then lastly, uh, this button right here will toggle your photography mode, whether you're in video or picture mode. And so you can toggle that to either take pictures or record video footage. So a lot of neat features on the app. Overall, a very good package. A uh, very sturdy, well-built quadcopter. It's a smooth flyer. It has good telemetry with the controller's built-in LCD display. It also has audible feedback as to the connectivity of the drone. So if it flies out of range or loses connection, there will be audible beeps on the transmitter, which is very good feedback. And the camera is good quality. It has sharp and vibrant colors. So overall, a very nice quadcopter. So let's take her out for a spin and see how she performs.